All right, teachers, this is super simple. I have teachers who often are putting tape on the carpet and causing sticky to adhere to the carpet. And you don't think about it when you pull it up, it comes off, but the problem is the sticky doesn't. It's still got that little bit of a residue on there when the kids walk over, or any of us walk over it, and it collects dirt. It starts making black lines and dark brown streaks where the sticky has been. And I know it's important sometimes to be able to have a line on the, on the floor so you can play games. I do it all the time too. So a couple of options would be that you could use like a, one side of the Velcro strip whenever you pull that off, it'll stick down pretty good for you and then you can pull it back up. So try that. It would be a better save than putting that sticky stuff like tape onto the carpet. But this is a terrific idea. Go ahead and make a tic-tac-toe board using the Velcro, <laughs> no, using the uh, duct tape right on a piece of vinyl. This is the vinyl tablecloth. Like you could buy one and unfold it or you can buy it off the roll and it's flannel backed so it won't move along on that carpet. It's really easy to use and you can just cut it in in pieces like uh, whatever size you want to make your tic-tac-toe board. And it's that simple. So put the, the duct tape on there to make that, you know, duct tape, our friend. We like duct tape. Well, now to make the bean bags. It's sometimes finding your bean bags and whatever you're wanting to use is uh, not in the resource room or it's been taken out of your room. Let me show you a quick way to make a bean bag that you can use and if you need to replace it, you can. And it's actually filled with rice. <laughs> so I guess you call it a bean bag, you're a liar. Mm. It's a rice bag, so to speak. Uh, just use a snack bag, a little zippy bag, and it takes a half of a cup. So let me, let me measure that out so you can see. It takes a half of a cup to fill it up and all right, I'm gonna open this up and pour it in and then zip it together. And I want to get all the air out as I'm doing that. Okay, if you don't get all of it out, it's not the end of the world. Fold it over like this. And you know what? I think it's a good idea to just use a little bit of scotch tape as you are trying to get it all to hold together very, very easy. So that way you'll have it just the way you want. I'm gonna fold over the lid of this where it comes together and seals just so I can work with it a little bit easier as well. So see, I've already got the shape of it right here. And since this is loose, I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little piece of tape on that too. Why not make it easy as possible? All right, so now I use the duct tape to go ahead and cover it and it'll make it a little bit more protected as well. So I don't know if you're the kind of teacher that uses duct tape, likes to use duct tape, but if you have to cut it with scissors or can you just tear it with your fingers, I, I find it easier just to tear with my fingers. But since we're gonna make it one solid piece, that's fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull off a little bit and I just tear it like paper. And I can have a piece waiting for me right there and stretch it around just like this. All right, easy enough. Now the next one and all along this is going to be protecting this bean bag, this little rice bag, the plastic from ripping and causing a problem. I'm gonna tuck in that little, those little flaps really easily. Good. And even if this tape was short and it didn't come together, really, no big deal. Because I can just tear off some more. I've got to go the other direction anyway. I can just tear off some more and use it to cover any open places. Now, if you wanna use scissors and make it really, really clean and neat, you should do that because um, you would like cleaning the gunk off of the scissors. <laughs> okay, gunk, that's my other special word of the day. 
All right, everybody try to use that word 10 times today, go. All right, and here's the last one. I do want to get those corners covered up because I don't want, I don't want any leakage at all. So good. Smooth it all around. And there you go, my friend, a bean bag. And you can play with all of them just like that. Maybe you want to use some duct tape that has uh, patterns to it or something. Just make sure that you make about five of each so that when you play this toss game, you're able to have enough bean bags to actually do it. And uh, I think you're going to find this to be something that folds flat, stores easily, and you can use it again and again. The nice thing is you can make more than one. You can have several of them, and that way everyone plays at the same time. That's always a good thing, you know? <laughs> okay, we have a lot of great ideas to share with you in Classroom Swag, our online magazine. Please check it out at getclassroomswag.com. There's a free copy there waiting for you, and it's 20 pages of great ideas for preschoolers, children, some child growth articles, things for parents, and it's really terrific because one subscription and you get to share it with your entire church leadership. And so send it to your teachers, send it to your leaders and your parents, because they would have the great resources to help them with their kiddos and to teach in their classes.